Hi, this is Marvin with Precision RV Service. We're out here for the last few days doing another quality solar installation on an RV. We'll get to that in a minute. And what we ended up doing was uh, putting 600 amp hours of lithium batteries along with 960 watts of solar on the roof, a Wi-Fi WeBoost antenna system and the customer also wanted uh, me to put in a composting toilet so it's been a long project the end is near uh, so we will get inside here just shortly okay we're back we're in the front of the RV this is where the queen size bed goes and if we lift up this bed area Voila, there's the bulk of the system. We got 600 amp hours of lithium batteries, 200 amp hours per pack, a couple blue sky controllers with the IPN Pro Remote. It makes it fully adjustable. These are networked together. Again, 960 watts on the roof. We got a Magnum hybrid inverter so that the customer can take advantage of his generator if he needs to and hybrid and so on and just a bunch of wiring battery management system but it all fit nice and tidy under the bed and uh, we will go and look at some more stuff in a minute back again here we are just uh, in the bedroom area but this is actually the sink bedroom sink and there's the monitors and remotes for the system on the bottom we got the LCD display for the battery management system then we got the Magnum remote and then the IPN Pro remote which gives a massive amount of uh, information but the main culprit is this LCD screen for the battery management system we'll go look at something else here we are in the bathroom area. We removed the traditional RV toilet. The customer wanted to have extra capacity, so he's going to use his gray and black tank for the gray. So he'll double his capacity, and then I installed this composting toilet. Had to build up the floor just a little bit to clear the closet flange. It's all nice and tidy. Put a little bit of tile down there. And then we had to run a vent to the outside, and it's got a 12-volt fan that runs constantly to keep uh, the bacteria happy. Um, so, came out pretty nice when it's all done. Here we are again, just a little farther back in the RV where the kitchen is in this cabinet up above the couch. We installed a 12-volt outlet. And this is the part of the WeBoost product. And uh, it's going to be powered off of this 12-volt outlet. The customer also wanted over here a 110 outlet to run a modem and some other computer stuff. So we installed a 110 outlet over here. We'll go look at some more stuff. Outside again, this is again as an outdoors RV called the Timber Ridge 24 foot pretty compact unit but it's one of the larger jobs we've done with 960 watts on the roof and 600 amp hours of lithium batteries with the hybrid inverter inside it came with one group 27 12 volt battery which wasn't going to do much and so we deleted it and that's where it used to be we'll go look at something else Okay, now we're heading towards the back of the RV and up on the ladder there is part of the outdoor antenna that the customer wanted for the WeBoost. We mounted that to the ladder, ran it through the roof and you saw where it went inside on the other video. We'll go up on the roof next. Okay, we're up here on the roof now. Again, 960 watts of total watts up here on the roof came out pretty pretty neat i'm pleased with that um i got four panels running down one side the passenger side and two on the driver's side and uh, again 960 watts total 
on a 24 footer he actually has a little bit of room to spare and again there's the part of the antenna for the Wii boost and everything is all tied up nice and tidy we'll go look at something else so we're back again um, hope you enjoyed that quick tour of this latest installation that this will be posted on my website in a short time and you can get a little more details about the job there and probably some more pictures but that was just a quick tour it just shows you what can be done even though it was a small RV it came out really nice and had just the right spaces so um, feel free to visit my website at precisionrv.com and prvsolar.com for more information. See you down the road. Bye.